Aside from becoming more robust, muscular, and slimmer, adequate testosterone levels benefit your heart, bones, temperament, and even verbal memory and reasoning skills. This is because testosterone is the predominant male sex hormone. It is sometimes referred to as an androgen, a steroid hormone that stimulates the development of male characteristics and traits. Welcome back to another exciting video from Fit Flourish Fever. Today's video is about what happens to your body on testosterone. Before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. To further comprehend what testosterone works inside your body, we must first examine how it is produced. Producing testosterone begins in the hypothalamus, the portion of your brain that serves as the master regulator of your hormones. The hypothalamus secretes gonadotropin-releasing hormone, GnRH, which stimulates the pituitary gland to secrete luteinizing and follicle-stimulating hormones. Both hormones are critical for male hormonal and sexual health, but each for different reasons. For example, luteinizing hormone is crucial because it stimulates a steroidogenic acute regulatory protein within your testes. This causes cholesterol to be converted into steroids, specifically androgens. So, yes, testosterone is generated from cholesterol. According to a study, that's one reason why low cholesterol diets are bad for testosterone levels. They suffocate your testosterone. Research, for example, discovered a direct relationship between cholesterol intake and testosterone levels. The more cholesterol they consumed, the higher their testosterone levels rose. The luteinizing hormone is more crucial for hormone production than the follicle-stimulating hormone. However, it is still important from a reproductive standpoint because it stimulates your body to make sperm in an average healthy male. Each day, the testes create 4 to 9 milligrams of testosterone. A negative feedback loop regulates testosterone production. This negative feedback loop monitors the body's androgen and estrogen levels. This ensures that your hormone levels remain within a set range when your body detects that testosterone levels have risen above a certain threshold. Because luteinizing and follicle-stimulating hormones are no longer required for increased testosterone and sperm production, the hypothalamus no longer stimulates the pituitary gland to release them. However, when you reach the lower end of that range, your body will release more luteinizing and follicle-producing hormones to increase testosterone and sperm production. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, this procedure has been hampered. You may experience decreased testosterone. Poor health, diet, or gonadal disease can all contribute to this. It's also crucial to understand that not every testosterone produced by your body affects your body the way testosterone is designed to. One of the main reasons for this is that some of your testosterone is turned into estrogen regularly. As most of you know, estrogen is the predominant female sex hormone, also found in men in smaller amounts. The aromatization process is the primary way testosterone is turned into estrogen. Don't get me wrong, this procedure isn't necessarily awful. Estrogen is essential for regulating your libido, erectile function, and sperm cell formation. It only becomes a concern if your testosterone is turned into estrogen in excess. Bodybuilders who use steroids frequently experience this problem as they increase their testosterone levels. Then, a portion of the testosterone is turned into estrogen, resulting in problems like gynecomastia. This is one of the reasons why bodybuilders frequently use anti-aromatase medications such as Arimidex. Arimidex prevents a large amount of testosterone from converting to estrogen. It helps keep their testosterone levels strong while maintaining more regular amounts of estrogen. It's also worth noting that this aromatization process occurs predominantly within body fat, which explains why overweight and obese people have higher estrogen and lower testosterone levels. Aside from being transformed into estrogen, roughly 10% of the testosterone in your body is converted into dihydrotestosterone, generally known as DHT, by an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. While testosterone is well known for its anabolic muscle building effects, DHT is more androgenic, which means it influences things like beard growth, body hair growth, Adam's apple size, and voice pitch. 
DHT is thought to have three to six times the androgenic effects of testosterone in the body. However, DHT is far less effective in promoting muscle growth than testosterone. Aside from the benefits of DHT, one disadvantage of having high levels of this hormone circulating throughout your body is that it raises the possibility of hair loss and, most likely, the danger of prostate cancer. But, to get back on track, the body has created testosterone from cholesterol, and a portion of that testosterone has been transformed into estrogen and DHT. The remaining testosterone in your system will now begin to circulate. While in circulation, some of this testosterone remains bioavailable. This is referred to as free testosterone. Free testosterone can attach to your body's androgen receptors and execute biological activities. These androgen receptors are present throughout your body, and the effect of free testosterone is determined by where it attaches to an androgen receptor. This is referred to as bound testosterone. When testosterone binds, it is unable to attach to androgen receptors. As bizarre as it may sound, this testosterone can no longer fulfill several of testosterone's physiological activities, such as promoting muscle protein synthesis, supporting erectile health and libido, and improving overall mood. When morphine testosterone binds to muscle androgen receptors, intense circumstances are created for muscle growth. Research published in the New England Journal of Medicine discovered that providing men 600 mg of testosterone per week without resistance training caused them to acquire 7 pounds of muscle. Meanwhile, another group of guys who did progressive resistance training without steroids acquired only roughly 4 pounds of muscle. Furthermore, the group that exercised weights and used steroids developed a remarkable 13 pounds of muscle. These results were obtained over the same period, illustrating the potent muscle building effects of increasing your body's testosterone levels. But testosterone does more than just that inside your body. It also affects fat burning and weight loss. Low testosterone levels have been linked to increased body fat, while greater testosterone levels help you get and stay lean. This was supported by a fascinating, randomized, double-masked study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism. The researchers then divided the men who could no longer generate testosterone into separate groups and gave each one of five testosterone and enanthate doses weekly. There were 25, 50, 125, 300, and 600 milligrams doses. As you can see, after 20 weeks, there was a strong relationship between testosterone and changes in body fat levels. The low testosterone group gained fat, particularly around their waist, whereas the high testosterone group shed body fat. The exact mechanism by which testosterone reduces body fat is unknown. However, it is likely related to testosterone boosting metabolic rate and improving fat burning. Testosterone has also been related to an increase in the body's red blood cell count. Red blood cells are critical because they transport oxygen from the lungs to the rest of your body. Much research has demonstrated that testosterone boosts red blood cell count. In one study, for example, castrated mice were given testosterone dosages, which resulted in an increase in total circulating red blood cell mass and total circulating red blood cell count. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.